to the horror hour. Hello and welcome to the Horror Hour, the show where we discuss, debate and disagree on all things horror. I'm one of your hosts, George, and today I'm joined by my fellow co-host, Yutaka. You may speak. Hello. And today we are talking about American Horror Stories, Season 2, Episode 1, Dollhouse. I'm I'm shooketh, and I just want to start by saying that that episode, to me, was better than anything of the last season of American <laughs> Horror Story. <laughs> like, you taggered watching um... before me and was like, are you going to watch it? And I was like, yeah, yeah. And he was like, you're going to lose your shit. And I was like, oh, okay, there's a connection. I, I can't think. You lost your shit, didn't you? I lost, you ta- yeah. I mean, let, let's talk about, we'll, let's talk about what we liked about it. If there's anything we didn't like and overall thoughts, but you ta- do you want me to go first or do you want to go first? I mean. <laughs> I mean, you're dying. So okay. Go, go off, sis. So obviously, I, uh, you tag it said, but I also assume that a lot of these American horror stories do seem to tend to have little nods to various things within the American horror story universe. When I first watched it, when it was Dollhouse and it was 1960s, my first actual thought was Dandy from um, American Horror Story oh, season four. Okay. They, owned, they owned a toy thing, right? I'm pretty mm-hmm. sure. So I thought, oh, that's going to be the thing. Um, boy, was I wrong because, you know, it was funny when I saw the kid with all the dolls and he was. And before anything had moved, I thought, you know, um, it reminds me of Spalding from <laughs> Coven. And I kind of forgot about that until the very end moment where I screamed. But this, to me, had the perfect mix of um, acknowledging something that's in the other universe, but not it overshadowing it. So, for example, the main storyline, the A storyline of the whole doll situation I loved. I thought it was a really creepy, cool idea. I thought um, Dennis O'Hare does an amazing job. He's such a, a cool guy. And the kid did a brilliant job of being, he was given like omen vibes. And all of the women, I like actually, even though we didn't know a lot about them, I actually quite cared about the characters and what was going on. I thought this is crazy. The house doll and the doll house, someone has money because that that was a good looking house. Um, so I loved that. And I actually really cared about all those characters. Then adding on this second story, like the moment the moment that truck moved, I was like, this is what you type is talking about. I lost my, sh- I didn't expect the ending. Let's talk about that at the end. But, and I thought, holy shit, this is such a great connection. And that just added an extra something to me on top of this already great episode. And I think because these are all one episodes, they kind of all work a lot better because you're not having to drag things out. So overall for me, I really love this. And actually it's probably... I'm going to remember this episode more so, as I said, than most of season 11, but also season one of American Horror Stories had some good stories in there. But I think this really just took it to the next level. I don't know. Yutaka, what are your thoughts on it? You know, I I um, I did. I had a lot of fun. There were a lot of nods to other things, too. Like that clown mask. I don't know if you've ever seen House on Sorority Row. You yes, probably have. I, oh, I have. Okay. I have. Holy shit. What? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Oh my God. I was not expecting that. Oh, but I I really enjoyed like um, the doll, like the masks and that whole storyline. It was creepy. It was twisted. Um, You know, I was shocked with how not as bloody as it could have been. Mm -hmm. I was a little bummed, but I, again, I think um, just the setup and the premise uh, was very intriguing. And honestly, I liked that in the beginning where he's like, you're too qualified. And that like, I was, I was like, oh, <gasps> yeah. Um, so I, I really did enjoy it. And yes, I, as soon as that ending happened, I immediately was like texting him like, you're going to watch this, right? And you're like, eh. I'm like, no, no, no. I, I promise you, you're going to lose your shit. And I did. Yeah, I, I I did as well. I thought it was a wonderful connection. It was so subtle and it was just like, oh my God, it was cool. It it was the ending. I definitely didn't expect it. So when the two um, coven witches walked in, I was like, holy. Sh-. When I saw the back of them, I, for a second, I was like, 
holy fuck, um, Sarah Pauls. But then I remember, no, right, it's the 60s. Um, <laughs> I just remember that, what what era I was in. Could you imagine if Jessica Lang walked in? My first thought when all this was happening was, is this Fiona? Because I forgot the girl's first name and I was wondering if she was going to turn out to be Fiona. And then when it started getting a bit more dramatic, I thought, oh, surely she would have, you know, it would be yeah. a plot hole for her to not mention this. Um, I also want to point out that it also has given me House of Wax vibes as well. Um, especially yes. with like the thing at the end and like, yeah. I mean, I didn't terrifying. like the look though, by the way. It looked like, I I didn't like the look. Yeah. I mean, I think the blonde hair suits you because it looks right now like you are that doll. So I think maybe... Maybe that's the mm. future. Let us know in the comments Ooh. below if Yutaka should go blonde for the summer, for the winter, for the autumn, whatever, fall. Um, but ah. the the ending, yeah, I thought, oh, this is really nice. We're getting these two witches. That made me lose my shit. And then when they set the house, I thought, this is it. And I remember thinking to myself, I say thinking it was two minutes ago, um, thinking, oh, I'd, I really wish it would have been perfect if they played the iconic um coven theme, the La 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 song. And I was like, oh, but you know what? Never mind. And then when it cut to fucking outside the house and that started going, I was like, uh, and then Myrtle walked out. Oh, can we talk about that little wig, though? That wig was bad. Yeah, that was a shame. But still though. iconic. It was iconic. It was. And I, she did a great little job for her two, you know, two lines, whatever she gave. And I thought it was, I thought it was brilliant. And I just loved it. And even though you just pan into Rosha, I mean, to me, American Horror Story Coven is my favorite. American Horror Story season. It used to be Asylum, and I still do love Asylum oh. because I loved like it. Well, from coming from season one, it really did step up and make it a bigger world. I'm talking about in terms of the work, like it made American Horror Story season one was fantastic and was very contained within the house. American Horror Story Asylum definitely made the universe a bit bigger and expanded on it, which I think is what everyone liked. But Coven to me, I mean, the first three seasons, are, I think, are all fantastic. But season three to me is the one I find myself going back to watch the most. Mm -hmm. And so I was so thrilled when it, this was a nod. And I'm always wanting more Coven stuff. And I know that Ryan said he will go back again in the future. And I'm just like, can we just stay there, please? Because <laughs> I need, I just, I love it. So to me, I think this was, I'm trying to think, was there anything you didn't particularly enjoy about this episode or little... i kind of wanted to see more of the games i thought mm -hmm. um that was very fascinating um and again also like slightly well obviously it was disturbing but um i just i thought it was very fascinating with those different like odd games and um yeah i just uh if i mean it wasn't a perfect episode some of the mm -hmm. things were kind of eh. again i did not like this look especially when you mentioned like house of wax and how well that was and obviously this is meant to more encase her versus like overlay and prevent her from you know but yeah i again it was fun i enjoyed it let me put it this way like you said i enjoyed it over everything from american horror stories season one mm -hmm. so this is a strong strong start yes but i'm not gonna get my hopes up but this was a strong start yeah and i mean this is american horror story so and the nice thing is obviously they're all written by different people or directors so it does it it's good because you get a variety of things because normally with american horror story often the series start off and you think yeah this is good this is good and then something happens halfway through every especially the most latter i'll say not all of them where it like it's like he was in Ryan Murphy was in the room for the first couple of episodes and then said, right, guys, I'll see you later. And then it just go and like it just something happens. It's so true. I'm hoping this doesn't happen. If it again, obviously, these are all individual episodes, so it might not feel as bad because there was a few select few I didn't mind in the last series. But I do agree with you. I think this is definitely a strong star. And I'm intrigued to see where the net where this rest of this season goes and sucks we have to wait for this one weekly i would have loved if maybe they did kind of like a you know drop the first three or something like i this made me want to immediately be like oh my god i want the next episode whereas last season i didn't i didn't have that like no. that need this well done well yeah. done and i'll be interested if they 
because obviously with American Horror Stories season American Horror Stories season one, there was three episodes that contained Murder House, the first two and the last yes. one. And I wonder if this may have any more connections to Coven, Coven later on. And maybe they'll like, you know, each one pulls on a different section of, of the American Horror Story universe. I don't know, maybe not. Maybe that was just to like, I mean, to me, I think it would have been perfect if in the last season they would have actually burned down Murder House because that needs to be laid to rest now. That house has been through enough. We've seen it a lot. And yeah, it's a shame with American Horror Stories season one that really bummed me out because it just kind of ruined the vibe mm-hmm. of uh, Murder House for me. Yeah. Because um, that's still my favorite season. Um, but either way, again, this was a strong start. I'm Absolutely. excited. Like mm-hmm. I, 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 I'm genuinely or genuinely excited. Whereas last season, I was just like, oh, all right, this yeah. Let's let's keep it up. Let's yeah. you know. All right. Come on now. You can do I'm it. I'm really <laughs> like I am very excited about this. Yeah. Me too. I'm let's see. Let's see what next week brings. But of course, don't forget to let us know in the comments below what you thought about this episode. Did you see the connection coming already? At what point did it click for you? Did you expect that they would really go that far towards the end to, to show that connection? And are there any what what more are you excited to see about the rest of this season? I mean, you know, this takes us up to September and then we're diving straight into American Horror Stories, American Horror Story season 12, which has been filmed in New York at the moment, I believe. So it is, and there's ooh, there's some interesting well, pictures I've seen. Some there's some pieces. tea, but we'll talk about that off screen. Oh, you guys can't hear it yet. Sorry, guys perks the job but yeah thank you so much guys for watching and as always please do not forget to like share comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you never miss an episode we've always got we've got our weekly podcast on a tuesday and then we have all sorts of interviews and reviews coming all the week throughs and don't forget to follow us at the horror hour tv on instagram and twitter and yeah we will see you guys in the next video bye guys you have been listening to the horror See you next time.